What's up everyone? Today let's take a look at the keyless entry system on a 2005 Mercury Sable LS. Now there's two components to it. The first one being the keyless entry keypad that you see here and secondly the keyless entry key fob that you see here. Now starting with the key fob <clears throat> it is pretty self-explanatory um, you have your unlock button, your lock button, your panic button, and your trunk re release button. Now, being that the car is locked right now, um, the unlock button has a, I'm not sure what you call it, it's like a two-stage unlock. So if you push it once, just the driver door will open, and you push it ag again, all doors will open. And coming with that is the headlights being activated tail lights being activated as well as the interior illumination and the puddle lamps located under the side mirrors um... and for the lock button um, you push it once you don't really have to worry about not locking all the doors with this one because if you push it once all the doors will lock um, as well as the lights flashing and the if you push it twice the horn will chirp notifying you that you have locked it um, good for parking lot scenarios um, so basically demonstration once twice um, the, uh, panic button um, I'm not gonna demonstrate because it is very loud but basically the horn beeps like not a chirp it's a full-on horn beep repeatedly until you stop it and the trunk release also self-explanatory if I push it the trunk would open it doesn't just unlock it actually fully opens but um, for the sake of this video I'm not gonna do that um, but back to the keyless entry system not to bore you but I do need to give you a little bit of a spiel background information first so, um, when this car came out of the factory, it was pre-programmed -pro with a uh, keyless entry code. Now, <clears throat> if you want to, you can uh, set up your own personal code by typing in the original factory code, then typing in your new code. By the way, they are five-digit codes. And then the vehicle will lock and unlock itself to notify you that you have successfully set up your own personal code. Um, basically, it's a five-digit code that you type in, and then there's three other commands that you can do with it. So, um, I'm going to type in the code. Now, the driver's side door unlocks all the doors unlock and the trunk opens so I kinda had to do that quickly so it would work um, I believe it's a five second time frame that you can press them um, between each other for, before it forgets but um, basically the original code I typed in and then after that's typed in you can do um, well two things the third one you can do anytime but the first one being that this particular button, it could be different on yours if you set it up, but this particular button on this car will open every door after the original code is typed in. Secondly, this button, the 5-6 button, after the original code is typed in, will open the trunk. Um, and it does not have to be consecutively after the unlock all doors button it just so happens that um, I did it that way but I could have done it in the reverse order and the like um, and for the third command I mentioned these two buttons I believe it's the same on all vehicles and I'm not sure if you're able to change them but it wouldn't really matter because it's for a lock command so what you do is you hold the 7890 keys down at the same time just push them down and it locks the vehicle and as a result the front uh, orange lights and the back tail lights will flash 
notifying that you have successfully locked the vehicle, as well as the telltale, you know, sign, I mean, that sound that you hear when you lock the vehicle. Alright, so enough boring talk, and, um, I hope you understand it. Uh, and, yes, the buttons do, uh, illuminate when you push them. So it's, uh, very helpful for at night when you can't actually see them. Oh, and there is a, uh, anti-scan mode if you push the wrong code too many times in a row. So I'll demonstrate that now. Um, and you won't be able to use it for a minute. So... I'm not sure how many it takes to do it, but but the lights will flash. Oh, here it goes. As you can see, the illumination is flashing, and I will not have access to the keypad for one minute. Um, so it's sort of like, uh you know, Apple's way of, um, auto-lock on their, uh, you know, gadgets where, um, if you type in the wrong passcode too many times, it won't allow you to unlock the vehicle for a certain amount of time. But with this, I believe it doesn't add to the time every time you mess up, whereas an Apple, it can keep doubling the time until you get to, like, uh, like, 10 years or whatever, so, yeah, it's not that intricate, um, but I hope you've enjoyed the video, and stay tuned next time, alright, thanks, take care.